Not only is it important to get your house in order, but also your financial house. Joining us right now is one of our favorite guests, Farnoosh, a financial expert. And how do you suggest we do that, Farnoosh? The first thing on your to-do list as you get your financial house in order for spring is to know what is my credit profile. And I say this because two reasons. A lot of us are in the dark about what our credit score is. Capital One ran a survey, found that 41% of consumers have no idea what their scores are. And even when you get to the younger set, 18 to 24 year olds, it jumps to like 63% don't know what their score is. So a lot of us are uneducated, but also the timing right now is important because as we go into the summer months, the spring months, and the rest of the year, if you're interested in buying that new house or getting that new car uh, or going off to school with a student loan, your score and your profile will matter. And you don't want to know these things as you're about to make the deal. You want to know ahead of time so that if you have to make improvements, you have the time to do so. Well, Farnoosh, you mentioned the credit score. Once we have it, is there a way to improve it? So the first step is obviously getting educated, right? What is my score? And of course, there are a lot of free tools out there that can give you that number. Banks are also providing their customers with that number. I've partnered, uh, I've teamed up with Capital One and they have actually created a fantastic free online and mobile interactive tool called Credit Tracker, which provides their cardholders with not only access to their score, but also the steps necessary to improve that score and also this really cool simulator. You can go on and like kind of see hypothetically if I pay my bills more regularly on time, how does that improve my score? If I forget to pay a bill, how does that hurt my score? So really fun. Um, and then also be aware of what are the factors that help to improve your score. Really important. Number one, paying your bills on time. That's 35% of your score. So if you miss a payment, you're kind of uh, you know, starting from um, behind the eight ball. So you wanna make sure that you're automating and that you never miss a payment. Second, you wanna knock down that debt. So if you're going into the spring with some leftover holiday debt, which I think could be a lot of us still, uh, you wanna get sh make sure that you are aggressively paying off that debt, not only on time, but aggressively, to make sure you're not just paying the minimum, that you're sticking to maybe twice or three times that minimum, whatever you can, get that tax refund and knock down some debt so that you can also boost your score significantly. And then maybe down the road, you're qualifying for a loan, you'll get that low interest rate and save even more money. You know, Farnoosh, when we look at it, what kind of credit is good? Well, certainly having a variety of credit uh, on your credit history is, is great. You know, your credit score calculator likes to see that you have had access to a variety of credit. Um, so one credit card um, is good. Having multiple cards and maybe a student loan, a mortgage, assuming you're paying these debts on, on time and, and responsibly, that will work to your advantage more than someone who just has like one credit card and versus somebody who has a variety of credit, proving that they have not only qualified for these credits, but that they're also managing them responsibly. Well, Farnoosh, we always thank you for your great tips and caring about our financial well-being and have a great spring. Sure. If you want more information, check out CapitalOne.com. Thanks.